Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining uh, us today for this webinar. Uh, we don't take it for granted. We thank you very much for your time. So I'm going to officially start the session for today. And I'll start by introducing myself. Uh, my name is Lynette, and I've been working at Porters uh, for close to seven years in various departments. And currently, I'm working with the global marketing team. And today's webinar is about leveraging on digital transformation for growth in recruitment businesses. I hope you enjoyed the webinar and join us in the next ones too. If you have a question during this session, please type it in the Q&A tab, either with your name or anonymously, and we will address it during the session. This is the agenda for today. First, I will briefly introduce Porters, then talk about digital transformation in recruitment, share some success stories and takeaway points, and then conclude the session. Uh, before we dive into the main agenda, I would like to give you a brief introduction about Porters. The company was established in Japan in 2001 with headquarters in Tokyo, a branch office in Osaka, and a subsidiary in Singapore. The main solution offered by Porters is an all-in-one cloud-based ATS CRM. We have a client base of more than 2,000 companies in Japan and overseas, and also presence in 11 countries, and these are just some of our clients. Uh, just to give you a bit more information about Porters ATS CRM, the system can be used in human resource businesses such as recruitment, staffing, maid services, RPOs, and such kind of businesses that operate on a matching basis. As you can see from the diagram, the recruitment business process from beginning to the end can be managed on one platform, and the data in the platform can also be recycled, which come in handy during the doing business development and also candidate reactivation, so you can always keep on using uh, your resources in the database. So rather, other than the basic uh, candidate data or client data or the process management, there's also integration with other media, like for example, job boards, that you can use to uh, make your recruitment process smooth. So Portals is a comprehensive ATS CRM. As a compre comprehensive ATS CRM has supported many companies uh, to achieve growth. And I will share some of the success stories here today. Another product of Porters is Porters Magazine, which publishes current market information related to recruiting and staffing industry by interviewing key players in the market and in the industry about various topics as far as human resource is concerned. These are copies of previously published magazines that focus on six, six Southeast Asian countries. We recently launched Porters Magazine Asia if you'd like to receive new editions of Porters Magazine Asia or uh, to read some articles, please sign up on our website. In general, Porters has interacted with over 3,000 business owners in the human resource space in Japan and overseas through our software solutions and also through Porters Magazine. And with that, we've been able to realize some of the key factors for growth in recruitment business. So for today's main topic, we will talk about leveraging on digital transformation for growth in recruitment business. There are various definitions of digital transformation, but today I would like to focus it as the integration of technologies in recruitment. And this integration of technologies is mainly to improve operations in recruitment, uh, which affect the volume and the speed of operation and also to increase output, which directly uh, links to revenue. Of course, the other reasons are like to improve experience for either clients or candidates, or for security and compliance purposes, and many more. A digital transformation, the transformation bit of it means that it is a continuous process involving changes in the technologies, strategies, and company culture which come 
with improvement each and every time when it's when the cycle goes on. Examples of improving operations are uh, automating candidate registration, automating recruitment metrics, increasing candidate reach out by using marketing automation and such kind of automation. As you already know, the staffing and recruitment business is characterized by high competition for both candidates and clients. So speed is very key. Therefore, you constantly have to be on your toes to beat your competition. However, our work time is limited to about just seven to 12 hours a day. And for that reason, how much is achieved in those seven to 12 hours is very crucial for the business. With technologies, this outcome can be maximized. It is therefore beyond doubt that recruitment business needs to embrace digital transformation to be competitive and also in the market for growth. The integration of technologies in recruitment can happen at any level, depending on the size of the company. For a situation whereby a company is using Excel, digital transformation or integration of, of technologies could be moving to a system, some kind of system that they can uh, consolidate the data and work from. For a company that already has a system they're working on, could be shifting to a, a cloud-based system. Or a company that's already working with a cloud-based system could be expanding to have more integrations uh, to be able to connect automatically with other media, for example, job boards and other social medias. At either stage, depending on the, uh, where the company is, different technologies could be applied. However, many companies do not fully utilize the existing technologies and tend to go back to the old familiar ways. And most of the time, this mostly happens due to lack of proper training because sometimes the consultants are not aware of the tools that are there but sometimes they are aware, but they don't have proper training and therefore they do not know how to fully utilize it. And because of that, they easily fall back to their normal or their regular old ways of doing things. Take for example, registering a new candidate. We all know that we have the original candidate information that we need to input in a system or in an Excel, whatever it is. So on the basics, you need to key in the information from the original file or original data to somewhere else. And the speed of doing this could depend by either the experience of doing this or actual uh, typing speed. But if there's a tool to help you do it better, then of course it will make the work smoother and faster. But the consultant needs to be aware of this tool and also be, um, be conversant with how this tool, the tool works. If those two are miss in the equation, then it means they will go back to the old ways of keying in manually the information, which affects, this is just one example uh, of uh, companies or, or recruitment agencies uh, using technologies when they're in the process of digital transformation, but still are being pulled back because of uh, going back to the old familiar ways which are manual. There are many other examples. Now back to how to leverage on digital transformation in recruitment. As mentioned earlier, Porter's clients have grown in various ways, including revenue expansion uh, because of the clients we've supported and also for the information we got from the key players in the industry. A Porter's successful clients have attributed their success to the combination of speed, volume, and quality that have been constant in their work. In today's webinar, we will look at how to leverage on digital tools to enhance speed, volume, and quality. Uh, speed is how fast you can get something done, for example, communicate information to move the pipeline or to deliver. Volume, most of the time, uh, relates to the number of clients you have, the number of candidates you have, the number of the ongoing processes, and also 
the output, uh, output meaning meaning how many uh, best candidates can you can you uh, present to your client, or how many best fitting positions can you present to your candidate? So those numbers, the volume, it counts to the volume. And quality is the degree of satisfaction your candidate or your client can get out of your services. And this affects the repeat contracts from your client and referrals from your candidates. These are some areas directly linked to speed, being business development and candidate uh, send outs, how many BD you conduct, how many candidates are you able to reach in a given uh, time span, and volume, uh, meaning you need to get more JDs, you need to have more candidate send outs, more processes that are ongoing, make more placements to be able to uh, see the good outcome. And you, you are able to deliver beyond expectation in good quality, satisfy the candidates and also the clients. And in doing this, you need to be uh, very aware of the efficiency. You need to work on your efficiency in delivering this. And this efficiency comes as a result of the productivity. How much are you able to, to output? And in your efficiency and productivity, if the process is standardized, you are able to follow back and see the kind of conversions you are making. And with this having all out laid out, it's easier to track your performance. Now I would like to share with you success stories from three of Porter's clients, two are in Japan and one outside of Japan. These companies heavily attributed their success to standardized business process flow, which could easily be followed by new joiners. So the companies are, the first one is Human Global Talent, which achieved a revenue increase of 197% year on year, and individual productivity of the consultants went up uh, to 157% as compared to the previous year. And the second company is Riraco in Singapore, which was uh, which achieved a revenue increase four to five times fold, and were able to expand to 21 branches in 10 countries in seven years. And the last company to introduce to you is DNI Inc., uh, which increased their job candidate match rate uh, by 300%, and the candidate submission rate by 200%, and the productivity of the consultants went up by 120%. We will look uh, into details of, of this, each of these companies and also details about standardization of business process flow that led to these results. Also, as mentioned earlier, Portas has interacted with over 3,000 business owners in Japan and overseas. Uh, through our software and also through Porter's Magazine, where we publish information uh, about uh, the current market trends and also to hear what the key players are saying. After analyzing stories from our clients and also these industry players, it was clear that the game changer for the successful recruitment businesses is standardization of business process flow, which I'm going to introduce uh, uh, in detail from now on. Standardization can start from anywhere and any part of the recruitment process. You just need to understand your uh, operation flow and know where to start uh, your, your flow from, you know where to start your process from. Uh, if you want to put any tracking or you want to restructure, you need to know where to start from. So it doesn't matter where it is, you need to understand your business and then decide where to start from. And standardization is complemented by other contributors, uh, the supporting contributors who are visualizing of progress, establishment of goals, if there weren't any before, or setting up uh, or reviewing the current goals, improve individual, collective, individual productivity and also collective productivity, deployment of best practices across the consultants, 
and managing all the data in a centrally uh, placed uh, platform. In this case, it could be a database or whatever you choose to work with. So if all this data is placed centrally, uh, then it's easier to track and access uh, the information at the same time, and also to run this cycle over and over and keep on improving it. More than the cycle itself, defining elements in the business process flow uh, is quite important uh, because by doing that, you're able to look at the information from the same angle, both the consultants and also the management. Standardization means uniformity. It is important for a company to define their flow of business and communicate the same to the consultants because there may be a different understanding of a situation. For example, on client side, it is important to define different status of the client, whether it's client in BD or an existing client or a client whose placement has been made before. On the candidate side, it's important to define the categories such that uh, if it's a candidate who's being approached or uh, candidates who, who have responded or that have applied to some positions. And for the recruitment process, you need to define the stages of the recruitment process. For example, at what stage it comes to placement or at what point is revenue considered as earned. When all this is in place, all consultants work from the same understanding of the company situation. Decisions are made based on the same understanding of the situation. And also the results can be calculated from the same basis of output. This way, the whole company is in unison and on how business flows, which contributes to generating the KPI results that account for the volume, which is key to a company's growth. Uh, the companies that attributed the success to visualizing of progress, as shown there, they were able to understand how many interviews that they were conducting, how many placements were being made, uh, how much revenue was being made, and also what kind of activities the consultants were doing to be able to create the kind of results that they were, they were getting. They were also uh, able to analyze uh, their progress and improve on the progress each and every time. That's by reviewing the KPIs. They are also uh, able to identify areas in that needed to be review, uh, reviewed in their recruitment process. They are also able to find uh, some bottlenecks in the process and were able to clear them up. Also, in by doing so, they are able to measure their progress, and by, by measuring their progress, they are able to work on their speed and volume of deliverables. Also, in uh, visualizing, visualizing the progress, managing the KPI, and uh, it keep on improving individual and collective uh, improve productivity, they were able to identify some best practices, which they were sharing, learning and sharing from each other. And this cycle was going running on and on. And at each time, they keep on improving what they needed to improve. Now I'd like to go to details of each company, starting with Human Global Talent Company. It was established in Japan in 1998, specializing in recruiting bilingual talents. Uh, the company implemented portals in May 2014, and therefore they've been using portals for some time. The company identified their need to reproduce versatile know-how and success cases for their businesses, because they discovered that their consultants who will perform quite highly and others not so well, yet they're all hardworking. So they needed, needed to find uh, what is different among these uh, consultants and share that information, analyze the information and share it. So they decided to set specific goals based on the previous results. And then based on the set goals, they did a backward calculation to determine the numbers of candidates they need to send out, the number of new JDs they need to create, the number of ongoing processes they need to accumulate to be able to fulfill the goal set. So first have some numbers to work with. Based on the numbers, create some KPI 
based on the KPIs, do backward calculation to know what where I need to be to be able to convert to numbers that will relax the KPI. Having a clear picture of what needs to be done, the consultants would act towards fulfilling their goals. They set consultants KPI as quantity and quality of activities. So quantity, uh, example, in the, ref the reference of candidates will mean the number of candidates sent out for a certain position and quality, meaning the number of candidates that were accepted in the first selection. Therefore, it's like observing the conversion rate in recruitment. Next, the performance is monitored and if necessary, adjustments are made. The top performance make a case and share what, what they know and how, how did they did to achieve the results they achieved. And then this process or this cycle is done again, which is deploying, deployment of best practices by the consultants. This process increased conversions, subsequently increasing the placement or which affects revenue. So the revenue grew by uh, grew by 197% year on year. And the consultants, individual productivity grew to 157%. The second company I would like to introduce to you is Rirako in Singapore. It is a Japanese recruitment company in Singapore, established in 20, 2011. The company implemented portals in February, 2015. Uh, previously, they used Excel, and we were well, using Excel. They experienced a lot of uh, difficulties, for example, tracking recruitment process. They were wasting a lot of time in conducting search or reporting or KPI tracking. And also, it was difficult to, ma to match uh, jobs to qualified candidates and vice versa. And generally, it slowed their recruitment process. So they chose to work with porters because they needed to centralize the data management. And also, the uh, portals had the ability to unify operations within, within, with other branches. With portals, the company was able to standardize business process flow, achieve detailed KPA management, and share know-how framework across members in the company and with other branches. And just like the other example in the first company, uh, the KPAs monitored rate of conversion and the timeframes, and this resulted to 4.5 times growth in revenue, and we're able to expand to 21 branches in 10 countries within a span of seven years. The high speed of expansion was facilitated by the ability to easily replicate unified operations and best practices. And the last company to introduce to you is DNI Inc. Uh, the company was established in Japan in 20. Uh, 2009 and specializing specializes in recruitment of persons with disability. They implemented portals first in 2016 and then in 2019. Uh, before coming back to portals in 2019, uh, they were using Salesforce, which they experienced challenges uh, about it not being suitable for recruitment. And, and if they needed to customize it, it was a bit costly. And even if they were ready to pay the cost, it would take time to develop what they needed. Uh, so they could, could not immediately use what they needed to use. So they came back to portals and then the process of implementation took just two weeks uh, to have the system uh, running. So the reason for choosing portals is because it is already designed for recruitment. So it was very easy for them to get into and customize it to fit their, their recruitment process flow. And uh, the system also has time-to-time uh, -time system updates that does not cost extra money uh, to their company when these updates are made. And also because the system already exists and we have already have the knowledge of how to, uh, our recruitment company operates or process operates, it, the implementation period was very, very short. So because of that, they came back to Porters were able to strategize themselves and use it to work the way they wanted. And they got immense support from porters, uh, from support, the after sales support. And of course, even uh, when using uh, porters, they're able to consult from time to time. And because of that, 
they were able to uh, achieve 300% uh, job candidate match rate and submissions of candidates to 200% and productivity of the consultants to 120%, which was good growth for them and for any company for that matter. So that's the end of success stories. And I would like to summarize by sharing this recruitment business cycle model. This model can be applied to any business, regardless of the tools that you're using. The most important thing is to define the elements in your, uh, in your process. Once you define the elements, you're able to follow up on them and link them to other uh, supporting, fact supporting um, factors like visualizing or progress, about the setting goals, how to improve, picking out the best practices and all that. But the most important thing is to first divide, define the elements in your recruitment business process flow. Uh, there are a number of applicant, applications that can be employed uh, to increase productivity by automating important but repetitive administrative tasks that will otherwise take up so much of a consultant's time. As bonus point, I would like to introduce to you two applications by Porters that help to enhance volume and contribute to productivity in recruitment business. The first one is Porters CV Passing, which automates the candidate registration process, whereby data of the candidate's original CV is passed and analyzed by machine learning, extracted and converted into editable fields, and then imported to Porters. And this process takes about a minute. Therefore, it reduces the time spent on candidate registration process uh, quite immensely. And you can pass up to 10 files at a time. So think of it this way. If you have to key this information in by hand, it will depend on how fast you can type or how experienced you are in doing this to be able to uh, get the best out of it. But most of the time, it doesn't go to less than a minute. So by if you have to do many of these, it takes quite a lot of time to do this, which this time could have been focused on something else that is more, uh, you know, income generating related kind of activity rather than administrative. And therefore, by using this, uh, makes the process efficient, makes your process efficient and smooth. The next application is Zillos, which is used to set candidate meetings. So with this Zillos, you can easily and conveniently set candidate meetings and the information is automatically saved into portals, uh, the calendar of the candidate, the calendar of the consultant, and notification also sent to email to both the consultant and the candidate. So think of a situation whereby you have a new candidate that you'd like to set a meeting with. You either call them, send them an email, or send them a text requesting for a meeting and they'll give you availabilities which you look through and realize not, none of them suits your availability, you communicate back. So there's this back and forth of communicating, trying to set a, a meeting. But again, by doing this, you actually spend a lot of time just communicating back and forth. To avoid all that, with Zillows, you just send a link to the candidate, candidate chooses what is convenient for them, and they're able to book, make a booking with you, and this booking automatically gets saved to your calendar, there's a, a notification on the email address. System also records this information. And of course, there are many other tools that can be used uh, to enhance the business process in the recruitment uh, space. But these just are two examples that I'm sharing right now. And the others that are out there, even some of them are free, you know. So it's about how to maximize this. And now we're coming to the conclusion, uh, and I'd like to say that standardization of business process flow is the first step towards business growth. And you need a tool that will greatly support that standardization and also the path through digital transformation, because it's a path, it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing journey. So you need a, a tool that can greatly support that. And the right tool for you will be able to en uh, enhance speed volume and quality of your deliverables, which will translate more to more placements and of course revenue. Apotas is ready to support in any way. If you'd like to consult about digital transformation for your business, we'll be more than happy to assist. Uh, please get in touch with us.
And now I'd like to open the, to the question uh, platform. Please, if you have any question, type it in the Q&A tab, either with your name or anonymously, and we'll answer them uh, on this platform, on this session right now. So please send in your questions. Okay, so please allow me to uh, close the session and then I'll stay behind for the next uh, five minutes or so, five, 10 minutes to receive any questions that may come uh, afterwards. So I'd just like to say thank you very much uh, for joining me today in today's session. I hope it was an informative one and that you gained some ideas on how you can leverage on digital transformation for your business growth. Uh, please take a moment to take our to participate in our survey about today's webinar. We'd like to hear from you, hear your experience to help us give better uh, services in future. If you have any inquiries, please feel free to reach us uh, either by sending us an email or reaching us out to us on LinkedIn. We'll be ready to uh, take, talk with you. And just let you know, we will upload this recording uh, on our YouTube channel. And I'll share the uh, document as well with you by email. Uh, so if you have any colleagues who or friends who want to, who did not join us today and would like to uh, pass this information to, please feel free to share with them. Uh, once again, thank you very much and have a good day. I'm going to be around for the next 10 minutes to take your questions.